our mortals. This video will look like some kind of a motivational video. Well, it's not exactly, but it still has a pretty good message. This video is about why musicians and artists in general need to do martial arts. If you are an artist who is also a martial artist, tell about your experience in the comments. Firstly, I guess I need to tell about my own experience in martial arts. I'm not some kind of a world champion in martial arts, but I occasionally did them since my childhood. My first experience was in judo. I wasn't very good in sparring, but I successfully performed judo during some of my school fights. I remember when one guy was so angry at me that he furiously ran towards me, and I just grappled him and wrestled him on the floor. I captured him while he was lying like a bitch, and he was completely helpless. As you see, my training didn't go in vain. I'm 23 now, and I didn't train judo for more than a decade, but I still remember most of the basics that I was taught. Back then, I was 11 years old, and I was a white belt in judo. When I was 13, 14 years old, I trained taekwondo in my school. In the beginning, I was very excited to train it, but later I became less enthusiastic. The first reason was because, just like with judo, I've had a shitty coach who was an asshole. And another reason why I stopped liking taekwondo was that I did not get enough from it. There, I trained only kicks, but no punches at all. Also, no kind of defense was taught during classes. No blocks, no dodging, no catching, nothing like that. Taekwondo looked very restrictive and limited to me. I wanted something more. There, I also was terrible in sparring, but my kicks became more coordinated. So when I've had any school fights besides punches, I also started using kicks. I remember there was one guy in school who threw a bottle cap into my eye. I got so angry that I chased him, cornered him, and bad the shit out of him. I remember when I kicked him, he shouted, Ah, that hurts! Well, from that situation, I can conclude that my kicks became much stronger after Taekwondo. In my Taekwondo classes, I barely reached to the yellow belt. When I was 16, I trained Muay Thai for only two days. Even though it was a lot of fun, I have no idea why I quit after two days. Already as a young adult, for a long time, I wanted to start training Muay Thai or any other kind of boxing because it was very interesting to me. Recently, I started training Muay Thai again, and I like it a lot. This is something I needed for so many years. Training it uh, gave me some food for thoughts, including the idea for this video. The first thought was, why did I hesitate to do it for such a long time? Cowardly, you might say. No, I was not disciplined enough to sit and find a good boxing gym. Discipline is the first reason why martial arts are worth doing for artists. I've seen many musicians and other creative people who are very lazy, responsible, and in general, are hard to work with. Not all, but uh, many artists are like uh, wet towels, really. Besides their laziness, they often have shitty habits like drinking alcohol, using drugs, including pot. Yes, pot is a drug, deal with it and hanging out with some low-life pseudo-friends. If they do martial arts, all of that bullshit will go away, and training will improve their creativity so much. I already started training Muay Thai when I worked on the final songs for my fourth album. I became so much more productive, and I improved my knowledge of the music theory. I made the final song from the album within one day. I wrote note scales, rehearsed it a few times, and then I recorded it. I was so surprised and happy because usually it takes about 2-3 days to make such kind of song. During the last few weeks I worked on a screenplay for my second film, and it was the first ever case when I set the alarm clock to wake up in 6 or 7 am to work, and after waking up I worked on the screenplay for so many hours. 
with only occasional short rests. Before training Muay Thai, I could work on art for many hours, but I never set the alarm clock to start working as soon as possible. Training martial arts will improve your creative skills in both quantity and quality aspects. How is it even possible? Well, it will make you more disciplined and energetic. Before you were an overage geek, and let's be real, most artists are geeks. But after training, your confidence and self-esteem and testosterone will grow and you'll feel badass. Of course, you feel more confident when you know you can kick someone's ass. And this is another reason why artists need to do martial arts. It will make you more badass. For example, you're playing death metal and you're a dork. You're making music about some brutal stuff like chopping people to pieces and throwing their bodies into the river. But in real life, you're collecting Funko Pops in your boy's room. Just imagine what a warrior you'd be if you're a death metal artist who also trains Litway. Fuck, Litway is the most death metal martial art there is. Anyway, Litway is just an example. If not Litway, you can choose any other martial art and you'll be badass. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Boxing, Muay Thai, whatever. What else can martial arts teach you? They teach you such important things as respect, punctuality and humility. These three I want to mention together because they're strongly connected with each other. Respect. Often people are going to different places like schools, jobs, etc. where they meet people they don't like. Being surrounded by shitty people with whom you have nothing in common, who you don't like, makes you more misanthropic, bitter and socially isolated. When you go to your local martial arts gym, you're encountering lots of kind, polite and decent people who are supportive. And of course, paying regular visits to a place with... Many good people will positively influence your mental health and will make you more respectful. Punctuality. Even if your coach is not very strict or usually very kind, you still don't want to get late for your training. Even if you will not get punished for getting late, you still would arrive in time out of respect for other people. Humility. Humility is a superpower. It's not when you put yourself down, but when you are self-aware of your own strengths and weaknesses. After training martial arts, especially after seeing more experienced fighters and getting your ass kicked during your first sparrings, will show you that you are not the best at it and you've got a long way of learning to become better. I noticed many creative people are letting their own ego stand in a way. Many artists think that they are the best, they are geniuses and other people are too shallow to fathom their art. Many artists don't even want to learn more and improve their creative skills because they are too pretentious and egotistic, especially musicians. Martial arts will teach you humility and will inspire you to learn more and find joy in learning. Which specific martial art would I recommend? Look, I don't know who you are. I don't know about your personality, your life, etc. Firstly, you need to establish the reasons why you want to train. Whether it's self-defense, aesthetics, fitness, philosophical or spiritual practice, etc., you need to understand why you want to do it. There are many debates about which martial art is the best, which one is more effective, etc. I think that all martial arts are great in their own way. Regarding self-defense, come on, fighting is fighting. It's so random and unpredictable that anything goes. Knowing any martial art is better than nothing in the case of self-defense. Of course, there are lots of fake martial arts with fraud coaches, but you don't need to be an expert to spot a fake martial art to avoid it. You also don't need to consider martial arts only through the narrow lens of self-defense. You can choose a martial art which is clearly not effective in a street fight and it will be fine. If you're a dungeon scene for a black metal musician who likes all of that medieval fantasy stuff, you can try kendo or fencing. 
I doubt that you will ever have a street fight with a sword. But it doesn't mean fencing, for instance, is a bad martial art. Which one to choose depends strongly on your personal preferences. I'm more of a striker. But only punches or only kicks is not enough for me. So I chose Muay Thai where I can train punches, kicks, elbows, knees, clenching and defense from all of that. After training Muay Thai for some time, I realized that this martial art is perfect for me. If you don't want to train punches and kicks, you can try wrestling, judo, jiu-jitsu, etc. It's all up to you. Some people might say, eh, how can you become a better artist for martial arts when you get too many hits in your head? You might get stupid. You either improve your muscles or your brain. You can't combine it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the fuck up. Of course, martial arts will make you stupid. And smoking weed and drinking beer will turn you into a fucking genius. Don't forget to get rid of your male teeth. They make your playing bass guitar more difficult for you. Okay, to be serious, I'm still surprised that there are still some insecure people who believe in such stereotypes that if you are doing sports, including martial arts, then you're dumb. Well, I already explained why it's not true. But here is one more bonus reason why martial arts will make you a better artist. It will give you a huge energy boost that will make you feel more positive. It will remove all of your insecurities, so you'll be more stimulated to create something. Some people might say that such things as insecurities and depression motivate artists to create masterpieces. Sure, but nobody wants to live the exact same lifestyle as those artists. Everyone wants to be as great as Van Gogh, but nobody wants to live the same lifestyle he lived. As an artist myself, I strongly disagree that insecurities and other issues inspire you to be more creative. When you feel miserable and depressed, usually the last thing you want to do is art. Seriously, it's like saying that smoking will make your voice more masculine. Just something like that, it's so ridiculous. During every period, when I was depressed for a long time, I created less and I was least productive as an artist. When I started training Muay Thai, I became more confident and positive and my creative energy improved greatly from it. If you are an artist who is also a martial artist, tell about your experience in the comments. It will be interesting to read. Don't forget that a strong body possesses strong mind. If you enjoyed this video, press like, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Don't forget to press the bell of Satan to don't miss the new videos. You can also buy my music on Bandcamp to support my channel. All links will be in the description. Farewell, stay out of hell.